Good morning and welcome back to A to Z Gardening. We're inside here today taking a look at unfortunately fall product. If you've purchased in the past in the fall tulips, daffodils, hyacinths, the real old fashioned standbys that you're used to planting in the fall for spring bloom, those plants need to be in the ground after the first cool kind of maybe light frost. They need to be planted so they stratify. Vocabulary word for the day, that plant's going to sit in the cold ground and very slowly root all season and it's going to do so knowing that it's winter and then when the weather changes and it warms up, they bloom in the spring. I want to talk about some friends on the walls here that have maybe not come to your attention like the tulips, daffodils, and hyacinths. You got your alliums, your giant ornamental onions here. They bloom very tall, very pronounced, really brilliant colors. They are a little short lived, but they're very, very hardy. So if you're looking for something to really catch your eye in the early season, that might be the allium. As we go down here, you're going to see some of the muscari or the, uh, the, the grape hyacinths. I love them. They do kind of tend to spread and colonize an area. So you get a little bit of bang for your buck in that plant and it's really brilliant blue. Not a, not, not a lot of plants in the early season like that that are truly brilliant blue. You can go down the crocus here, just like the one I have here. Really early, very resilient to cold temperatures, even bloom right in the snow, as the snow crocus said. So a lot of these plants have different size bulbs. A lot of times you get the question, how deep do you plant them? About two and a half to three times the height of the bulb. So the bigger the bulb, the deeper the hole. The smaller the bulb, the, the shorter the plant. So you can stick it right down in there by just pushing it into loose soil with your fingers. So easy to plant things like the crocus and the muscari. If you keep growing right down here, you're going to have the crown imperial or the fritillaria. Really unique. If you want your neighbors to talk about the plant that's blooming in the front of your yard, maybe uh, plant here some fritillarias. They have a really beautiful cascading, very uh, pastel color. Uh, and then the snowdrops, another spreader here. The snowdrops are going to be very easy to grow. Just a small ball, push it down in. They like to colonize and spread as well. If you have any questions about when to plant what bulb for your spring blooming, contact any of us professionals here at Stands.